we are here with the lovely and super talented Miss Tedra Moses. Hi. Hi. And you are about to perform at the Park Unplugged, sponsored by the Park at 14 and Benny Black Entertainment. Yes. Yes. Are you extremely excited? How are you feeling? I want girls to come to DC and perform. Like, if you're a performer and you perform music that is like, you know, more of a music lovers music this is like the mecca of coming to perform dc people really love music and they give you that love back and i'm really excited wow. so complex simplicity came out in 2004 i was an immediate fan now it's 2011 you put out one studio album a couple of mixtapes and your fans are still with you mm -hmm. what is your secret I don't have a secret, I just think God is really good. That's all, God is really good and he knows my heart, he knows this is what I wanna do, he knows that I don't wanna conform. He knows that, uh, you know, what I'm giving, I'm giving from my heart and if that, and, and I really just wanna be a vessel. As vain as sometimes my music may come off, like I think I'm this and I think I'm that or whatever, but I want you to think that when you listen to it, you know what I mean? I want the woman that, on one hand, she may listen to a rap song saying blah, 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 because I listen to that too. I want her to have another alternative to listen to something that builds her up and make her feel good from a fellow woman that's, that's not saying you can't be on my level because I'm so fly. I'm so let's all be fly together. And I think that um, people receive it like that, and God knows my heart, and I think I think that might be the reason why people stick with it. Mm -hmm. And I, I try to consider the fan of the music being that they're like, oh, TJ, when are you going to put out another album? And I know they don't understand the politics of all of this, and I don't have the time to sit down and explain it to them. So all I can do is just toss the music every now and then to make sure they stay with me and understand she's still doing this and she's still sharp at it, and when it does come, they're there to receive it. Right. So right now you're doing your independent thing. Mm -hmm. um, what is your preference? Would you want to do the major label thing eventually, or are you content with being in, an independent artist? If I had a daddy, and when I say daddy, I mean boyfriend. If I had a daddy with a lot of money mm -hmm. that could sponsor my whole situation, mm -hmm. you know that Tierra Marie kind of sponsor, right? <laughs> they'd be great. But I don't. I have three kids. I have my son Raz, who's a twin. I have my son Taj, who's his brother, and of. Uh, Black Moses music, which is my music, and I have to support all three of them. Mm -hmm. And it becomes a lot, because the same money that pays my mortgage pays for studio time. The same money that puts food on the table pays for a video, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I would like a label, but I would like a label to respect that I've been grinding out here and holding on to fans for myself, so don't try to change me right. and say, don't do those kind of records, do these kind I don't want that. Right. So if I can find a, a good, I haven't had a boyfriend for eight years. Let's just start there. Okay. So think about me finding a label and making a business part it's hard. I have to find the right, right company. Right. It has to click. It has to. It has to be organic. Yes. Yeah. I'm very picky. Right. <laughs> so you've released a couple of videos to the tracks to uh, the Young Lioness mm -hmm. that's coming out. Can you tell us a bit about that album? Uh, well, first off, I switched to the Lioness. The Lioness. Okay. I'm not the Young Lioness anymore. And the sound is what I call Champagne Soul. I get that from my homeboys. Uh, Trackademics and all the honor roll dudes in the Bay Area. I have to always uh, credit them because I stole it from them, basically. Mm -hmm. But um, Champagne Soul is like a sophisticated sound, and it's real light and girl, you know, girls twirl to it and feel pretty. But it still beats, you know, it's still banging, easy listening, and um, subject matter is from you know pulling on your heartstrings and at the same time like you know brushing off your shoulders. It's all these different you know, things that we have to deal with and being strong people, not just women, but specifically towards women, being strong and navigating through this cold ass world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do you have collaborations? Um, I mean, I really have, I have records that I've given away that were collaborations, so I started from scratch. One of the people that I really want to work with, and I'm putting this out there, is Thilo. Mm -hmm. I think he has an amazing voice. We we toured together before. I, you know, I opened for a tour for him uh, years ago, and um, not I love Thilo from like you know Goody Mob days. Like I've just loved his voice and his soul, and I just really would love to work with Thilo. So hopefully that. Yeah, comes so they're doing the thing. Okay. 
so you're an inspiration to a lot of women. Um, and it's because of the music we hear from you that you know we hold our heads up high or we walk around like we are the ish because we are. Um, there's a lot of confidence that you portray and we pull from that. So what words of encouragement or wisdom do you have for say young women and young men who have a dream who are juggling other life obstacles? Because you talk about a lot. You talk about you being a businesswoman. You being a parent. What words of encouragement would you give for someone who's doing the same thing? Reaching for a dream, but just remember scared money don't matter. You know, you can't sit back like, ah, I want to, I don't want to, you know. You just gotta, I'm scared all the time. I'm always scared. I'm like a nervous man. You know what I mean? But I close my eyes and I just start swinging until I hit something. So it's like you just have to have faith and strength and um, determination and consistency and endurance. You have to keep moving because people will tell you that. And people will say, oh, you know, well, why are you doing it that way? You know, you just have to stay focused and stick to what you're doing. And I think the most important thing I can say to anyone with a dream or talent that they want to put out in the world, make sure you're good. Because if you're good, you're undeniable. Well, thank you, Keisha. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Much success in my future. Thank you. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Keisha Moses, the Lioness, and I'm sending a special shout-out.